Hey y'all, it's Christina. Now some of you may know that I have a daughter that has a severe disability, meaning that she doesn't communicate the way that we do. She doesn't walk, she can't feed herself. The things that we generally do easily on a daily basis, she's dependent on someone to help her. I remember when she was about two years old, I was going through a very difficult and depressed state. And the physical therapist that she had at the time gave me a poem entitled Welcome to Holland by Emily Pearl Kingsley. And in this poem, the author is talking about having a baby, but she describes it like going on a trip to Italy. So she's planned for this trip to Italy. She's learned the language. She has tour books. She knows that she wants to go see the Michelangelo and she wants to ride in the gondola she set. So after months of planning, she gets on the plane and after hours of being on the plane, it's time for her to get off. And the flight attendant says, welcome to Holland. And she says, no, I didn't sign up for Holland. I signed up for Italy. She says, well, Holland is where you are and Holland is where you must remain. So as she gets off, she's thankful because at least they didn't take her to a filthy, nasty, disgusting place. They took her to a beautiful place. It doesn't have the Michelangelo, but it does have Rembrandt and it has beautiful tulips and windmills. And she understands that if she keeps herself in the mindset of Italy, she'll miss the experience of Holland. And as I was thinking about this poem, I was thinking about how so many of us get stuck trying to be in the natural will that we have already planned for our lives instead of God's perfect will. God is saying that I've already predestined beautiful things for you to make you purposeful and make you fruitful for the kingdom of God. But some of us are stuck in what we thought things should look like. God is trying to say, give up that job or I need you to relocate or I need you to move this way or shift this so that you could be properly aligned with me. And even though it may look different, even though there may be seasons of difficulty, even though there may be even seasons of pain, God is saying that all things will work together for the good of those who love him and are the called according to his purpose. So God is trying to call some of us up. He's trying to call some of us higher. He's trying to call some of us out. So if you have gotten stuck in the way you think things should look, be open to how God wants to do them. It may not be Italy. But I promise you, even if he takes you to Holland and that's his perfect will, it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be purposeful. Blessings.